Hey guys, welcome back to another Game Dev Tycoon Part 13, I think. Hopefully it is. <laughs> Alright, so, when we left off, we had nothing but $16.8 million in the bank, which is fantastic. I mean, we've been doing so horrible the past few episodes. I mean, when I was uh, this many years in, freaking, I was like, I'd been in the last office for you know, hours already, and I had like a hundred million dollars at the minimum, you know, we just haven't had good luck this game, you know, been trying some different techniques and they haven't worked out, so I guess going into the fresh mind didn't really help me out, I should have stuck with what I used to do and, you know, just made lots of money, but what we're gonna do now is, is there anything we can research, I do not recall we only have 23 research points. Is there anything for like 15 Easter eggs, possibly? Um, but that's it. And I don't think we want to get Easter eggs as of yet. I mean, it's not that critical, but let us look at creating another sequel because that seems to help a lot in getting the money. So go all the way back. What was our first game ever made? Alright, The Elder Scrolls. Well, can't really do that. Uh, Tour of Duty, Planet Beta 6, The Bubonic War, Daggerfall, Battlefront. Maybe we should make Battlefront 2. Ooh. Yeah, let's make Battlefront 2. Alright. This is gonna be a huge step from Battlefront 1 to Battlefront 2. It's gonna be like a jump from Battlefront 2 to like what this is gonna be, which is in graphics wise and everything else, probably gonna end up being like Battlefront 7. Alright, so we're gonna call this Battlefront 2 for Mature Audiences Action for the PC Game Engine 10. Even though I played Battlefront and Battlefront 2 on the PS2, God, I love the PS2. And it's a medium game. We're making it a medium game. $455,000 going into that. Jeez, we're gonna drill so much money into this game. Hopefully, it pays off. If it doesn't, it's just gonna be a huge waste of money. Alright, there we go. Everyone giving some ideas in. Alright, now we have Brandon Stokes to help us out with this. He'll be a technology man. So, Phil Robertson, yes. Uh, Nathaniel Long, yes. And Hector Butler, no. We will make Brandon take over for that. Uh, we'll keep all of this in, except for maybe... Uh, We'll take out advanced cutscenes. Oh, I forgot, this isn't even an RPG, so we have to actually change a lot of this. Uh, we'll take out skill trees, but we'll keep in character progression. So, let's drop stories and quests down to, like, there. Um, have amazing gameplay and a good engine. Uh, let's try and balance these out. Um, put that like 75%. Alright, so everything's good except for the engine. But that's fine. Okay. Generating some hype for this. In a few seconds, I will market it. Right when it comes to the end. Alright, right about now, I will market this. And let's spend... $150,000 for magazines and game demos. Alright. Now the AI, not so much. We do not need AI companions. And we do not need a dialogue tree in there. So we'll bring this down. Bring level design all the way up. And I guess we'll make the AI better than the dialogue. Do we need simple body language in there? Yeah, I guess we would. You know, so the clone troopers making hand gestures to each other and whatnot. Um, alright, so that seems good. Now, Hector Butler on dialogues. I guess they'll have to do or else we're gonna, like, overcharge people. I mean, geez, Nathaniel Long is taking a heavy burden. Let's see. We'll put Phil Robertson in there, because that's design, and he's the best at design, and that's full board design. And we'll keep... And we'll put Nathaniel Long 
No, we'll put Brandon Stokes on AI. Alright, so now Phil Robertson actually has some room to breathe. Okay. Game Dev 2 in action. Got a good amount of bugs already, but that shows progress in this. I mean, we already do have a lot. Now, we'll keep all this the same. That's good. Um, world design will be nice. Should this be an open world game? Maybe we'll make... Ooh, Battlefront 2 is going to end up being an open world game. Oh, that's amazing. Alright, so... We will keep this... Um, possibly just like this. Nathaniel Long at that. Hector Butler um, at that. Yeah, so I think we're about to get an achievement right here. Possibly. Where are my cheeves? I want some cheeves. Alright, look at that design and technology. Iron out the last few bugs, guys. And... Do we have any new records? New technology records, so... Wow. Alright, didn't even break record in design. Engines level 8, AI's level 8, graphics are level 8, Hector Butler's almost level 6. Let's release the game to the public. Hopefully it does good. Because we spent two million dollars well 1.9 million dollars on this game. Oh, don't tease me with those tens. Alright, an eight, it's very good. What the fuck? Where do you go from eight to a four? What the hell? Nice experience. What is that? What? I don't understand this. Wouldn't it be like an 8, 7, or a 9? Somewhere in that category? Where do you get a 4 and a 5 from this? Jeez. Those people don't even... What, they like play like the first 5 minutes and say it was horrible? Alright. Boss slide Man Inc. has grown well under your management. I think it's time to move the company out of this technology park and into a worthy building worthy of its... Uh, of our success and uh, blah 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 not yet we want to get lots more money and we might get lots more money from this game there's uh, Battlefront 2 was met with moderate responses that's false Battlefront 2 was fantastic it was met with freaking people killed each other for it all right looks like there's a little bit of a dip in sales people are also like oh it sucks I'm sorry rip Battlefront 2 we absolutely butchered it I guess in my opinion, we butchered it. It wasn't tens across the board. And we didn't get any cheeves. What the hell is that? Alright, let's go all the way back again. Because at least we're getting money doing what we're doing here. Uh, the Purple Heart. Helmets with Horns. Grand Slizmo. Trek of the Stars. Final Fantasy. Dwarf Wars. Hmm. Maybe we should do Dwarf Wars. Viking Wars. The Bubonic War, Tour of Duty, let's do Dwarf Wars. Alright, so it's a fantasy strategy game for the PC, on game engine number 10. It's going to be a medium game as well. It's going to be called, hmm, first it was Dwarf Wars, now we will call it, um, the Elven Alliance. Yeah, yeah. Different sects of the dwarves team up with different sects of the elven race to fight against each other. For God knows why reason, the dwarves took each other's gold. Yes, yes. Start development. Okay. So... It's a strategy game. Stories and quests, basically none. Alright. Hmm. We'll have advanced cutscenes in there, so. But let's, like, keep it low. Like, 75% on stories and quests. We'll keep the engine the same. And, uh, character progression will take off the gameplay. We'll bring the engine, like, all the way up. And we'll bring this down while keeping stories and quests at 75. So, Phil Robertson, you will go over to 
and nothing for this. Uh, we will send Hector Butler to take over the stories and quests, and Brandon Stokes, you will do the engine, because uh, that's a technological sort of thing. I'm guessing, I think that is. And Nathaniel, you will do the gameplay design. Actually, is gameplay a design or a technology? I, I really don't know. I think you have to design, like, gameplay, like, you know. Oh, God. If I mess this up, next. <laughs> now I'm scared. Oh, God, if this game fails, I think that's going to be the reason. Okay. Once I do this, I will market the game. We do want better AI. Do we want AI companions? Possibly, Let's, because AI is going to be across. Some body language, no. Dialogues, basically none. Level design needs to be okay. You know, a little bit better than okay. Um, Alright, Brandon Stokes. You're going to take a break. And Phil Robertson is going to take over that. Uh, Hector Butler. Actually, Nathaniel Long will take over on the level design. And Hector Butler already on top of dialogues. So we'll keep it at that. Okay. And we'll market this. 150,000. We just got word that Battlefront 2 has recently racked up over 500,000 in sales. If it was a music record, it would have had gold status. We wonder how many more it will sell. You know you're doing good when every single game you send out, um, oh, it's not an action game anymore, it's strategy. When uh, every single game you send out is getting platinum status. Once I was getting there, I was like gaining 100 million dollars per game, even more. Ooh, we're at 20 million, that's nice. All right, so, ooh, Nathaniel Long, he's taking on a heavy burden there. We will give, uh, uh, let's see. Nathaniel Long, you will take on the graphics, and Phil Robertson will take on the world design. Um, uh, nope, Nathaniel Long, he's still struggling with that. Alright, so Hector Butler, you will take on that. And Brandon Stokes, you will take on that. And we didn't get achieved last time. We didn't achieve anything. But I'm pretty sure everything has to be under 100%. In order to get that, is it, maybe it's under 90%. Pretty sure it's under 100%. All right, so we keep all that the same. Uh, world design good, graphics good, and sound still like you know evened out, I guess, when it comes to percentage use. Okay. I don't think this is gonna do as good as well. It's not gonna. Maybe we'll get as much design and technology. You never know. You never know. Me. Maybe they're gonna have epiphanies in the, uh, you know, editing, reviewing stage. Oh, they're starting to slack. Nope. Technology, though. Technology, we're good. Alright. So, new record in technology. And Hector Butler's level 6. Alright. 68,000. Jeez, man. From every month, I have to pay him $68,000. Imagine getting a job like that. Holy crap! Seven million dollars in sales, Battlefront 2. All right, that that's next to success. Blah, blah 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 blah. That's a successful game. Oh my god! The first reviews for the Elven Alliance came in. Oh, it's teasing me with the tens. Then it gives me those five. Seen better. So teasing me with tens. Six shows me tensile. <sighs> Fantasy and strategy. All right, so maybe I messed that up. Maybe. Um, Alright, so we've got a 5.75 or something like that. How many... Uh, yeah, it didn't do that good. Alright. Let's look at contract work. Uh, let's do that. Um, should we go to G3? Let's see. Let's see if uh, we can get to it. And we'll pay. Should we pay five hundred thousand dollars for a medium booth? Will we even be there? Ooh, it's a risk. Let's do it though. If we don't make it in time, maybe the Elven Alliance will still be out, and people also there'll be a huge spike in sales. 
Alright, boss, blah blah blah. I think if we have one more successful game, and in this episode they suggest it, we'll do it. Alright. Not yet. Come on. Send them on vacation and we will start developing a sequel to... going all the way back... Uh, Mario Kart did horrible. Uh, let's see... Astronaut Babies, ooh. Maybe people didn't like the babies added onto that. But action games are popular right now, so let's do an action game. Uh, let's see... Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 2. There we go. Medium game. For the PC. And Slimatic. Uh, it's not even a Slimatic. Jeez. Can't even remember. Next. There we go. And immediately generating hype for this, but this probably wouldn't do good. Oh wait, the Elven Alliance is still down there, like... Hey, why don't you check that out? Alright. We obviously didn't make the top 100 booth is 354,222 people. But, since it's an action game, we're gonna keep everything the way it is right here. Um... Yeah, so that's good. Next. Oh god, you guys need to get back here. Hurry. Hurry. Start working. Start working! I don't care about the research points. What are you guys doing? Oh my god. That was major slacking. Alright, Elven Alliance racked up 500, over 500,000 copy is sold. Look at the hype. Alright. Keep all this the same as well. Uh, we'll market this. Game demos and such. Oh, look at the hype just skyrocketing. Alright, and we're gonna change this up. Hector, I guess it's a design thing, not a technology. Wait, is it technology or design? I can't even remember. All right, we're we're gonna say that it's a technology thing, and we will put. Um, should we put Brandon Stokes on it as well? He's starting to break over 105, but we haven't gotten the achievement yet, so maybe I've already gotten it and didn't know about it. Okay. Hopefully it is a technology thing and not a graphic, because Brandon Stokes has horrible uh, design qualities. Oh no, the Open Alliance has quite a few undiscovered bugs. They demand that we patch it. We can either spend the money to patch it, uh, or we we need to make sure we don't wait too long. So develop the patch. Seems that the market normalized again with no strong particular trends. Open Alliance off the market. 6.4 million dollars in sales, not quite as good as Battlefront 2, but that's still a good amount of money. Alright, I know the last few bugs. Do we get any new uh, technology records? Let's see. Oh crap. He just threw a bug in there. That's gonna like drop our freaking ratings down like three points. Just that one little bug slipping in. God damn it. Alright, 3D graphics to be 5, it's now level 4, and Brand Stokes is now level 3. Oh, this is not the time. Alright. Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Should we do it? Eight, eight million dollars? It'll set us back to, um, 16 million. That's where we started off this episode. I don't think it's worth it. Because if we start out next episode with six million, I mean 16 million, and we don't do good, we're immediately going to go bankrupt because it costs so much to stay there. Not yet. Alright, the first reviews came in. It's gonna be like a two. I saw a few twos in there. Alright, five, fun at stages. It's gonna be a four, or six. 
Six. It did better than the last game? Jeez, alright, so what's that? 5.75? I don't even know what these the ratings are anymore. Please do good. Please do good. Alright. Alright, I love companies like Side and Inc. That don't just milk their customers for money, but also understand our concerns and make sure that we enjoy our games. I think we are kind of milking them for money. We've been making games left and right, but I guess they're actually good games, so it's not really milking. We're actually putting hard work in. Maybe we should train these guys. Train you to get some better design. Because, goddamn, you have no design whatsoever. Train you um, to get more everything, because you don't really have any good things except for research and speed, so we'll do design because that's lower than your technology. We'll train you in technology, because look at that technology, that's just atrocious. And what should we train you in? You're our amazing all-around guy. We'll train you in some more uh, technology. There we go. So everyone is getting trained, working hard. And Final Fantasy almost has almost 500,000 sales now. We have 28.1, uh, 28.5 million dollars in the bank with 71,000 fans, 71.2 thousand fans. Everything is just exponentially rising. All right. Oh, finally got over 500,000 in sales. Okay. Oh, look at that major spike right there. That that's a good spike in sales. All right. So all that's done. Uh, we have 105 research points left. Should we research anything? No loading screens, dynamic environment, dynamic world, realistic weather, advanced body language, co-op play, oh, all this stuff sounds so good. I think, I think we should have some realistic weather, I mean Skyrim, I always base my, my views off of Skyrim, because I usually make my game engine space for RPG games. Oh, I think, I, Skyrim had some pretty realistic weather, I think we should put that in there. Alright, so, research that. And that's amazing. We're doing good. Uh, and look at that. It's not a spike, but it's a slight rise in sales again. Final Fantasy 2, not half bad at all. Alright, realistic weather completed. Uh, well, should we make a new engine just because of that? Nah, we shouldn't. We shouldn't. Is there any actual publishing deals we can do? Uh, dance? God, no. Alright, no. Let us, hmm. I guess we should make one more game. Let, let's make another game. Uh, let's go back. Da, 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 da. And what game is this? March of the Dead. Astronaut Babies. Deep Impact. Project Manhattan. A Purple Heart. Maybe we should make a sequel to this. So, Military Simulation. Medium game. The Purple Heart. Um, the Purple Heart, let, uh, let, what should be a sequel for that? Uh, hmm. Gunslinger. Perfect. Alright, it's gonna be on the PC. And Game Engine number 10. What a beautiful name. 3D Graphics V5, that's such a good amount of graphics. Alright, 6.8 million. Still did not do as good as Battlefront 2. I mean, you can't beat it. You just can't. It's Battlefront. Oh, alright. So it's a simulation game. Um, we'll still have advanced cutscenes in there, you know, we'll keep that in there, but we'll put this down a little bit more to 70% because it's a simulation game. Um, alright. We'll have all that. We'll have character progression in there. I think we kind of need that. So, we'll bring gameplay up a little bit. And th then, the engine would go down a little bit, possibly. Alright, let's leave it at that. So, Brandon Stokes do, do the engine, which is technolo technological. Nathaniel Long, gameplay design. And Hector Butler, uh, stories and quest design. Perfect. Generating a little bit of hype. And soon, if we drag this out long enough, 
uh, G3 will come along. Let's market this. Magazine demos up click there. $150,000 for that. Our goal at the end of this, have over $30 million. Um, Alright, so we'll keep that the way it is. Then, should we have simple body language actually? No, because these dialogues are atrocious. But maybe, what if I like bring the dialogues up a little bit? Have it at like 50%? Maybe. Maybe that'd do good. Um, Alright, so we'll have the AI still being smart, but uh, we'll leave it like down there. Level design needs to be really good. Um, uh, we'll have level design up there, and dialogues balances out at 55. Um, and Thaniel Long, you're taking a lot for uh, and stuff, so we'll put Phil Robertson on that instead. And we will put Brandon Stokes on the AI. And Hector Butler, you will stay on the dialogues. Perfect. Alright. I think the design and technology is starting to even itself out slowly. Dear Phil Robertson, we, the Worldwide Game Developers Guild, would like to invite you to a special award ceremony at our main meeting at the end of the year. Please come. Hint, the game will end at the end of this year. Oh, so... I think... I think we are going to drag this out um, past the end of the year, but maybe you guys don't want to know that, so you guys really need to let me know whether you want us to expand over that, because if you guys don't, and you're not really going to watch this anymore, uh, I don't really see why I should upload them, you know, if you guys aren't enjoying them, which I think you guys are enjoying this, uh, but, so just let me know, you yeah, know, it would be really helpful, and also just to know that you guys are still out there watch my videos makes me feel great um all right so graphics we'll keep that there er everything right there will stay the same i think but brandon stokes he's taken on a heavy burden let us put oh that's because brandon stokes is taking on two things at once we will let hmm should we let hector butler take over sound why not and there we go. Uh, G3 is about to arrive. Right now. Alright. We will get a medium booth. Maybe a large booth. 1.5 million dollars. Should we do it? It's a, it's a big risk. I'm gonna do it. Oh my god, that was... I should not have done that. Oh, look at the design and technology. They skyrocketed for this one. And we're just starting to lose our efficiency. Alright, ironing out the last few bugs. There we go. I think we got uh, records right here. Yep, new records. Anything level up? Nathaniel Long is now level 5. Released the game. And now we have to pay 57000 for him. Special training available for him. And we will not move up this episode, unfortunately because we haven't seen how good this game's gonna do. Up, oh, G3, finally arriving. We got, look how big this booth is. That's an amazing booth. How many people are actually gonna come here? Oh my, oh my god. What was our last one? We had like 300,000. Now we had 731,046 people come and see us. And we're not even that popular yet. We made, we made num uh, number 99. We actually did make it in the top 100 booths. That's that's incredible. The first reviews for Gunslinger came in. Oh god, if these reviews are bad. Oh. Oh. Got a 9, almost perfect. 9, they're focused on the engine, serve this game very well. 9, it's great. 10, 9. Alright, 9's across the board. Can't wait for the sequel. Alright, so that's awesome. Oh. How many sales in the first week? 350,000 sales in the first week. That's amazing. And we just got word that it already in the second week racked over 500,000 uh, sales. 34 million dollars in the bank. Oh, uh, this episode, what a success. And luckily I did decide to drag it on a little bit longer than I wanted to, just so we can reach that goal. That's amazing.
racked over 1 million sales. 1.2 million. All right, this is where we're getting big. We're finally getting to the places where I was getting uh, when I was playing, and it made me feel so good. All right, send them on vacation. All right, another memorable game by Sly Death Man Inc. has been released. I've rarely seen such a responsive game controls. A true joy to play. A stellar effort by Sly Death Man Inc. Arnie Kunkel, Electric Games. Thank you, Arnie. 40.7, that's already $10 million more than we wanted. 42.1, oh my god. This has been such a success. Oh, this was this was such a good episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely enjoyed this one. Such a thrill. Oh, make sure to like and favorite if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.